As most of my readers know, I've been on a long one-year ride now on hydrogen. I've been writing my hydrogen medicine book. I started exactly a year ago, published the first edition, already contracted to put it into print, a second edition, and these last three months, after seeing a video on H2 Minutes by a gentleman named Hubbard, in seeing the information on, on this video, I did a revisit to the book and everything in it, especially about oxygen. And these last two months, I've been publishing a whole series of essays on oxygen and carbon dioxide and cancer. And this all going to the second edition, which I hope to be finished with in a few weeks. Hydrogen is a revolution in medicine. And the book is not just about hydrogen, it's about combining hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. This is the future of medicine, especially intensive care medicine, emergency medicine, ambulance medicine, is command, getting command of the three gases gives one the most medical power. We've been, you know, every oxygen is already the most used or prescribed uh, drug in a hospital. It's a drug, considered a drug, needs to be prescribed. But putting oxygen into the, mix with hydrogen changes a f the fundamental healing power of oxygen. And the best example of this is deep sea divers who go down almost to 2,000 feet. They will breathe. The, the, the world record for deep sea diving was breathing 96% hydrogen and only 4% oxygen. At 2,000 feet, around 700 meters, the pressure is incredible. It's very cold and the stress is very high. If you cannot, you cannot survive down there breathing normal levels of oxygen. When the body is under incre incredible stress, on the verge of death, or even small things like knee problems or neuropathy of the feet, or I can go on and on and on, hydrogen gets to the root and takes out the oxidative stress and inflammation. Oxygen also does that, and carbon dioxide is also an antioxidant. Carbon dioxide and hydrogen make oxygen safe. There's always a consequence to metabolism and oxidation. Creates a, a certain stress on the body, free radicals. And hydrogen and carbon dioxide really control this. So the future of medicine is here. Hydrogen inhaling machines have been in the United States for just a little over a year just begin becoming known now. My favorite machines are combined hydrogen and oxygen. And um, myself, right now I'm using a pure hydrogen machine, but for oxygen I'm using EWAT, exercise with oxygen therapy, combining the two. And of course every day I use my Fravla breathing device from Russia and slow, always I'm slowing my breathing down to retain more CO2 in my blood. CO2 is very healthy. Hydrogen is very healthy. Oxygen is healthy but needs to be used correctly.